Yesu ni mwaminifu. Asante ndugu yetu Simon. Tukumbusha Yesu ni mwaminifu na ye anainua kwa piwango. Yesu ni mwaminifu. Haleluya. Glory to God. We want to share the word of God tonight. I hope you've had a good day and the Lord is going to bless you. Once again I tell you, if there is a time you have had the word openly, 
is this time of COVID. Hearing the word every time and everywhere, your life can never remain the same. I stayed for a long time. I stayed for a long time asking myself, this God that I'm hearing people talk about in the radio, in the television, in churches, where is he? Could they be cheating people? Because I could not see him working in my life. I thought he's not working in my life, but he was working behind the curtains. He was preparing even to do great things. So I was wondering, and something convicted my heart. I think it was the Holy Spirit that it cannot be a lie. That you go to the radios, they are talking about the faithfulness of God. You go to the television, they are talking about how able is our God. You go to um, churches, crusades everywhere. I think these people cannot be confused. It could, it must be true. And indeed, our God is faithful. Even right now, you are going to see him operate and work in your life. I want us to hear the word of God tonight. And the Lord is going to bless us in a tremendous manner. Thank you for them that are just on board. Even as we hear the word of God, God bless you so much, Pastor Faith and the family. God bless you so much, much Elizabeth, for coming on board. God bless you so much, Carol, for coming on board. What a blessing, always an encouragement. Uh, Simon, you are here. Thank you. I like your songs are, are, are on demand by people. Uh, they are a great blessing. Thank you so very much, uh, servant of God, Simon Gatugi. Thank you so very much, Pastor Simon, for coming. Uh, you are an encouragement. Cecilia, thank you so very much to see you on board. What a blessing. Thank you so very much, Joshua Musungu Barasa. Wow, this is a great blessing. Thank you so very much. Now, let's read the word of God. Today I'm going to speak briefly, if so possible, and the Lord is going to bless us. I'm talking about take heed of who you are. Take heed of who you are. We are reading only one scripture. That is the book of Psalms. I mean the book of Proverbs. Uh, Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 24. The Bible says, What the wicked dread will overtake him. And what the righteous desire will be granted. Those are two parallel issues or two opposite issues. There is that one of the wicked, that one of the righteous. And I've said you take heed of who you are. Because it's good if... And it's good to avoid and evade wickedness and to desire and to pursue righteousness because we see these two opposites that that which the wicked dread, that which the wicked fear, and that which the wicked, uh, you know, uh, is dread to them, we overtake them. Father, we want to thank you for your word tonight. I ask you to open our hearing and our understanding that as I speak your word, let your word not leave us the same. God Almighty, I ask of the tongue of the land, let your word bring a difference to every person under my voice today by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Say Amen. Now, what the wicked dread will overtake him and what the righteous desire will be granted tonight we want to make up our mind on which side are we want to be because we see the result of every side being wicked uh, then that which one de dreads that which one fears comes to overtake them or comes to be manifested but being righteous that which one desires comes to be granted hallelujah now to be being to be wicked it is a dangerous it, it is very dangerous to be wicked Bible says there is no peace for the wicked. In as much as the wicked try to have peace, there is no peace for the wicked. And that is a guarantee and a condition from the word of God. No peace for the wicked. The heart of the wicked divides evil and they end up restless. Wickedness attracts restlessness. What the wicked dread shall overtake him. Those people that plan evil against others, those people that has their hearts are filled with wickedness, things that are so wicked. Those who execute evil against others, those who are what uh, you know, those all those who are wicked, what they dread will overtake them. You see, those people that desire evil things happening to other people, those people that desire to see, you know, bad things, retrogression. Pain, suffering, sorrow. Those people when, who rejoice when they see others suffering. Those people that whose heart is filled with wickedness. You know what I mean. The Bible says, that which they dread, overtake them. That which they fear so much, overtake them. And you know, when one is wicked, 
and you put yourself into any fear, you have no option. It's so dangerous. And because it, it's a catalyst, it is a catalyst of that which they fear, it comes to arrest them and capture them and put them into, I want to talk about wickedness and righteousness. For the wicked, that which they fear, it captures them. And it comes to happen. But for the righteous, that which they desire, it is granted by God. Now let's talk about wickedness. Anybody who has been mentioned on the side of wickedness in the Bible, they harvested that which they feared. They harvested evil in return. And they harvested destruction in return. And even today it hasn't changed. Anybody that carry wickedness in their heart, you know there are people that can be wicked. I tell you people can be wicked. Human beings can be wicked. There are people that even can kill, can devise death, destruction. There are people that can devise, there are people can, that can spend sleepless night thinking of how others will fail or how others will fall, of how someone's family will not stand, of how someone's business will not stand, of how someone's children will not make it in school. And that is why we have people going to sorcerers, people going to diviners, people going to wizards. That is why we have people calculating on how to bring the downfall of other people's progress. All those kind and group of people, what they fear will always finally come to arrest them and put them down. You remember the story of Haman? He desired so much, I mean, he feared so much to be humiliated, to be disobeyed, you know, to be undermined. And when he was coming to the workplace, he could pass through the gate and find Mordecai, who failed to bow before him. And immediately he began to devise evil against him and all the other Jews, planning how to assassinate them and to kill them and to finish them. Went to the king and said, don't worry about the, uh, this. There are people that are not obeying you, king, but don't worry about it. I will handle it. Don't even uh, fund it. I will pay it myself. I will fund it myself. He wanted to finish Mordecai. And all the Jews together went home and told the wife, you know what? There is this man at the gate of whom it, I cannot work together with him. I cannot work together with him. Every time I pass by there, I feel like vomiting. When I see him, I cannot continue. I have got to do something. And the wife tells him, if that man is a Jew, you take care. If he is a Jew, you, you cannot overcome. You cannot overcome him. Because those people, it is God who fights for them. Mordecai plans, I mean, Haman plans and makes a big girl where to hang Mordecai. Having planned everything and the king having put a signature, he forgot what the wicked dread will finally come upon them. What he was fearing so much, finally, was to overtake him. Because God fought, fought for the Jews and Mordecai. And the garo that he had built, the same garo which he had built, the Bible tells us in the book of Esther, it is the same garo which Haman was hanged upon. Let me tell you, you don't worry about the wicked, what evil they devise. The same evil they devise, captures them. If you dig a hole for anybody because you're, you're planning evil against them, if you dig a hole against anybody's children, if you dig a hole against anybody's spouse, if you dig a hole against anybody's dream, let me tell you, it will catch you, it will arrest, it will, that snare will arrest you, as you, you, are, you, it will arrest you. Because if you keep on pulling people down, you keep us also on going down. But when you raise others, you go higher. Glory to God. What the wicked dread will always arrest them and overtake them. But the Bible says, what the righteous desire shall be granted unto them. That is why I desire to pursue and to walk in righteousness. Glory to God. Like now, there are so many things that people are fearing in the world. And they are happening in the world. It matters on which side you are. If you're on the side of wickedness, if you, if you finish other people's life by bullet, you'll be finished by bullet. If you finish other people by gossip, you'll be finished by gossip. If you finish other people by hatred, you'll be finished by hatred. What weapon you use for others while in wickedness, the same weapon will be used for you. But when you are righteous, 
Now, the game changes. Righteousness is the game changer. When you are righteous and you, you walk with the Lord, <coughs> the Bible says, what you desire shall be granted unto you. Oh, glory to God. Now, the scripture says very well, in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Mark 11, 24, therefore, he said that to them, this is Jesus, whatever things you desire, he was talking to the disciples, he was talking to the people that he was preaching to, he said to them, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and it shall be, it, and ye shall have them. In other words, he says, the first step is to desire. There are so many things that you as a child of God, you desire. The righteous. The Bible says just by the fact of desire, it is like it has gone to God. So when you have a desire in your heart and you are righteous, it is a catalyst also. Just like wickedness is a catalyst for the things that you fear to manifest in your life. Similarly, righteousness is a catalyst for the things that you desire to manifest in your life by the fact that you are righteous whatever you desire is granted unto you so he says when you desire and then you pray and you believe it shall be you shall receive glory to god there is this story i want to read for us here in the book of luke chapter 17 uh, 16 verse 19 the bible says there was a certain rich man now listen to this who was clothed in purple and fine linen, and he fared sympathy every day. Verse 20, that there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of souls. Listen to this, full of souls, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Note this one, desiring to feed, desiring, sorry, uh, moreover, okay, so let me repeat, desiring to be fed with the scrums which fell <coughs> from the rich man's table, moreover, the dog came and licked the souls. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels, note this, to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in hate, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. So the Bible talks about the Lazarus who was a beggar full of souls. <coughs> and when he died, he went to the bosom of Abraham. That means he could, not, he could not have gone to the bosom of Abraham being a wicked man. This one indicates and tells us that he was a righteous man. Because he died and went to Abraham, the father of faith, of righteousness. He was a righteous man. But the wicked man went to hell. Now, I don't want to preach about uh, the rest of the things today. But I want to come back to the, this issue of Lazarus, who was full of souls, who laid at his gate, who desired to feed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. And this man Lazarus was righteous. The scripture says, that which the righteous desire shall be granted unto them. So Lazarus was righteous. He is the one who made a mistake. He desired to eat from the, under the table of the rich man. And because he was righteous, God had to grant that desire. Now, if God can grant a desire of a righteous man who desired wrongly, how much more shall God grant the desire of the righteous who desires good things, which will glorify the name of the Lord? The Bible says, what the righteous desire will be granted to them. And Jesus confirmed this by saying, Therefore, he said that to them, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received. So now, we realize when the wicked dread, it happens to them. But when the righteous desire, it happens to them. Child of God, take heed who you are. Take heed whether you are a wicked or whether you are pursuing righteousness. If you are wicked, you are he's saying you are the Lord and you are wicked. What you fear so much will catch up with you. But if you are righteous and you are following, pursuing peace and righteousness without which no one shall see God, then it means what you desire one day shall be granted unto you. <clears throat> I was thinking today while I was driving, yesterday I was looking at 
I did not know how to drive. I didn't have a car. I could look at even I would stand by the wayside. Na sima makado ya barabara. Na angalia ma driver wakiendesha magari. I would ask myself, am I fake or something? How comes even my friends are just driving and I cannot drive anywhere? I could even see big, huge machines being driven by small, very small, tiny girls. And I would wonder, you mean, what the problem with me? And I am a man. I could wonder. And I would tell God, help me, God. Until one day God spoke to me and told me, not only to drive, but the day you begin to drive, you'll drive forever. Number two, you will teach many even how to drive. I try to think about it. <coughs> me becoming a, a teacher of driver and driving, then I believed God. Then today I was driving and I was saying, you mean God meant it? Because I, since I began driving, I've always been driving. I drive almost actually every day. And I think I got tired of driving. So I was thinking of it that when, uh, if I happen to be move, going somewhere with somebody who knows to drive, right now I desire they carry me. I desire they drive me. Because I'm, I, I, I don't miss driving anymore. I drive because I, ha I just have to. But if you happen to travel with somebody who is a driver, I prefer to be, to be driven. And I then come to understand why rich people will always have a driver. Before I desired, I get that I want to go to the car and I want to go to the car. And I want to go to the car and I want to go to the car. And I want to go to the car. I was so eager. I was so eager. But then the Lord granted my desire. Now it's not an issue. Now the Lord again, I was praying and I felt God tell me, this, you, you want to go and preach overseas, you go, want to go and to preach other countries, you will go until you are tired. And then that, that's the time God gave me, reminded me about the, the issue of driving and how I was deciding and how it is happening now. And I say there is a time I will be moving with, in aeroplane everywhere and I will be feeling like I don't want even to go. Thinking of traveling to somewhere 15 hours on the air. Let me tell you, if you are righteous, whatever you desire shall be granted unto you. I desired very much to see myself preaching. I would ask, I would go asking pastors, soon it and you believe to, soon it and you believe to. Right now, I even don't de desire to be called to preach because opportunities are many. The church are preaching a lot of uh, pre people waiting for me to minister to them. But that time I was saying, Sini pate tu kamoja. Nigena nabia mtu, si unipe hii kamoja umeitu wa ubiri. Ni ubiri hata mimi angalau. Lakini asa hiyo kitu ilisha. I don't know when last I requested to be called to preach. I don't know. I normally have invitations. Some of them I don't know what to do. I'm not saying that one to brag. But to say... The desire of the righteous shall be granted. Glory to God. I was uh, sometimes in the village, I would hear people come and say, we are preachers from Nairobi. And I would say, what? Even I don't know where Nairobi is. I cannot go alone. I remember one time I knelt down and told God, Sikuira nitajipata Nairobi peke yangu. Na sijashikuwa mkono na mtu. Nitapiga magoti hapo ni kushukuru. I never knew <laughs> I would even become a Nairobian, not even becoming a Nairobian, even my family, even I'll have a church in Nairobi. Let me tell you, just know who you are, take heed who you are. If you choose to walk in wickedness, in evil, what you fear shall come and overtake you. But if you choose to walk in righteousness, what you desire shall be granted unto you. It is yours for the choosing. And the Lord shall do it unto your life. Glory to God. I'm so grateful because of this teaching tonight. It's just a blessing my heart. I don't know about you, but for, for me, it's challenging my heart that what the wicked read will overtake him, what the righteous desire shall be granted. May you be righteous. May God grant the desires of your heart. May that which you have designed for so long. Let me tell you, before you die, the Lord shall grant them unto you. Even much more than that. Much more than that. Glory to God. I remember how much I went. I could go to a supermarket. Naona mtu anakuja, anapake gali, anaingia supermarket. Na mke wake, na watoto, wanafanya shopping, wanatoka, wanaingia gali. Mimi ni kopare tuna jiuliza. Kwani mimi ni mwanaume nusu. Si mungu nifanyie kitu. Today, those things are happening. You know the days you went to a hotel, I would go to a hotel and see people asking for food. And I teach us a maki and I teach a kuku. Na mi niko hapo na I teach a majimoto. Na sema, am I a fake somebody or something? But let me tell you, God is not a respecter of persons. Today maybe perhaps somebody is asking the same questions when I do what I used. I used to see them do. Because I go to a hotel, I ask of any food I want to eat. 
I don't even bother about the price. But there are some days where I would look for the most, the dirtiest hotel. The dirtiest. Because I know hapo diyo mtapata chafua. Mambo ina uwe inabadilika. Wacha ni kwambia mpendwa. Fuatilia tu haki ya mungu. Righteousness. And that which you desire shall be granted unto you. It is just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time. Uzidanganyo na mtu. Hata kama huku soma, si masomo. Sawa, masomo ni mazuri. But for you to, for you to see victory in your life, all what you need is the master of life. The master of life is Jesus. He is the master planner. He is the God of all impossibility. He can do anything in your life. If you are sick, he can heal you. If you are jobless, he can give you a job. If your business is struggling, he can lace your eye. He can give you respect. He can restore that which you lost. He can give you beyond what any human being can give to you. Never put your trust and all your trust in men. Even the people you think are supposed to help you, they have their own problems. Maybe even they have bigger problems than you have. Let me tell you, God is the only one who doesn't have the problems. He only has solutions. Put your trust in God. He can send your help from Morocco. He can send your help, help from Afghanistan. He can send your help from anywhere. He is God. So if you used a kunguru, just follow him. If you used a donkey, just follow him. If you used fish, fish from the waters to carry Jonah and even to provide money, he can use anything. He can use anything just to bring your help. Trust in him, walk in him, walk in righteousness. Your desires will be granted in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so very much, my viewer. I see so many people have been following us. <coughs> Thank you so very much, Pastor Faith and the rest of the people. Oh, David Gatiba, where have you been for a long time from Florida? I'm glad to see you tonight. Elizabeth from United Emirates, I'm glad to see you. Uh, lady of God, this, this lady used to say, Tulikuwa tunaenda kesha, anasema, Mimi natua siku moja nitaeda ngambo. Watu anacheka, anasema sasa, uya anasema nini? Ataendea ngambo, ataanzia wapi diwaende. Kila tukienda kesha, anasema, mimi najua, taeda ngambo. Na unajua likuwa mswahili kutoka mbasa, kwe mezo ya kingereza. Anasema, watu anasema, uya taenda na hata kingereza, wezi kuongea fruwe. As I talk now, the lady is not in Kenya. She is here, maybe she can test you, she can say, yes, I am. The Lord took her far. I've also seen Cecilia here. Pia ya likuwa na konifesi yo mambo. I see Karo. Karo sasa, <coughs> by the grace of God, anachoka every day of her life, ako kwa dege, iyo ushuda ni vizuri kutoa. Ameniambia menda a lot of states, so many states, I don't know where she has not gone in this, in this world. By just, and you know she is a, she is a giver. She, she is a giver. She just, she has no jokes with the giving. Carol, I received your gift the other day. And God bless you. And Mr. Pastor Melipa Nyumba, akasema, iyo nalipa. And she paid. I thank God for you. And many other people. Simon Onyango, thank you so very much. Carol, thank you so very much. And Cecilia, thank you so very much. Who have I not mentioned? Joshua Musungu, thank you so very much. Paps Gemma. Ah, this lady we used to be with her. So she was, she was having... Faith in God, and right now she is not even in Kenya. Mungo memujaria, ako Dubai. I think you are in Dubai, perhaps, and you are doing well. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Paul Prince, thank you so very much. Shika hiri mambo utaenda mbali. Uh, we have who else? Grace Beth Kanji. You are in Dubai also, yes. And I thank God uh, that you are capturing this word and you are going far. King Alex, wow, capture this word. You are going far in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, what is Kwamboy? Ah, long time, Fred. Where have you been? God bless you so much for tuning in. Ah, bless and shukem. Wonderful. You are going far, man. You continue, continue serving God. You will not regret. I tell you the truth. Utakumbuka miaka ija, utaniabia pasta uliko na sema ukweli. Ah, thank you. Hey, Bishop, you are here with us. I'm so very much humbled, Bishop. So very much humbled. My Bishop is here. Uh, Bishop Diva, what a blessing. I thank God. I'm so humbled. Preaching under your anointing. And the anointing flows from the top. Asante sana kwa sababu ya kutuambukiza. Upako hu. James Mwangi, thank you so very much. In the name of Jesus. Wow. 
I wow, Mary Gatoni, servant of God. I don't know that you're in Kenya or South South Africa. God bless you for tuning in. Thank you so very much. Nasikia South Africa pia wamepata mandawa. Na mshukuru Mungu. Sasa mambo hii shetani alipanga imekwisha. Unaona kila inchi sasa inapata dawa, kila inchi inasema imepata dawa. Ni kidogo tu atangaze wakubali, ni sahi wanakata kata lakini mambo Mungu ametupa ame ushindi. Utasikia sasa a uh, mambo yote imefunguka asante sana asante sana naona wote mko hapa Irene Sande thank you so very much Kamande Alice Joy thank you so very much servant of God Fred Wai Hombo oh thank you so very much i'm grateful thank you so very much Dr Isara Ikeara thank you so very much I'm so humble to see you here Masi Wawira all the way from Embu wow thank you so very much teacher Masi glory to God God bless you I can see so many of you. Servant of God, Patrick Guba, thank you so much. If I've not mentioned your name, because sometimes this gadget sometimes hides names, I'm so grateful. God bless you. And let's desire to walk in righteousness. What we desire shall be granted. We meet tomorrow morning, 6.30, and I want to pray for you if you are not born again. Perhaps for you who is watching, or you shall be watch watching later. Desire to shun wickedness, because what you... Uh, because of what you have heard, I want to pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart tonight. I believe you are the Son of God, and you died for my sake. I open the door of my heart. I ask you to come into my life. Forgive me all my sins, and be my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart, and I confess in my mouth that I am born again in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord deliver you from every affliction of the enemy and may he cause you to walk in victory. And when he comes again for the church, we shall be together to live with him forever. God bless you. Any other need, I pray, Lord, meet with the needs of your people. Grant them every heart desire and Lord that desire and ability to walk in righteousness which comes through faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a super night. Have a super day wherever you are. Let us meet tomorrow at 6.30 and the Lord will bless us as we have making mention of your prayers. Thank you. Peace of God be with you. I love you.